And our in-depth coverage of the Hernandez trial continues now. I'm joined by former U.S. attorney for Rhode Island and Eyewitness News legal analyst Robert Carrenti. And you've been in the courtroom both as a prosecutor and also as a defense attorney waiting for that jury to come back with their decision. What, if anything, can we read into the amount of time that they're spending to come to a decision? Short answer is not very much. This is a long trial. 130 some odd witnesses, close to 450 uh, physical exhibits for the jury to, to look at and to consider. So the fact that they've been out now for some 20 hours or so over the course of three days really isn't very surprising and we're not yet at the point where you can draw any kind of conclusion from the, the duration of the deliberations. So if the jury is having a hard time making a unanimous decision, can, a can the judge come in and help them out? Sure, there are some things that a judge can do sort of by way of uh, an additional charge to the jury or additional instructions to the jury, uh, some of which take the form really of a pep talk where the judge will uh, encourage them to go back and, and you know consider all possible outcomes all possible viewpoints not to give up on their strongly held beliefs 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 but to try their best to come to some kind of a unanimous uh, determination now if the jury if, if the jurors can if they only agree on some charges but not all of them could there be a mistrial there, there could be a mistrial there could be a, what's called a hung jury if you have two camps of jurors some of whom are strongly in favor of a conviction and others of whom feel that the, the government has not proven its case, then with respect to that charge, uh, there can be what's called a hung jury, which creates a mistrial. All right, former U.S. Attorney Robert Crenty, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again on Eyewitness News at 6.30 over on Fox Providence. And